Bet you can't guess what's in the box. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, as you can see, I've got another box here. So we're going to do a bit of an unboxing. And whenever I got a big box, and while you can't tell it in this one that it's from China, it's from China. So always good stuff comes in them. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek inside here. With all good boxes from China, guess what? It's filled with foam. So let's go ahead and get this foam out of the box and see what's in there. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, we have the JG Maker uh, Magic 3D Printer. Some of these namings are quite strange. Anyways, this is part of the JG Aurora family. And I was so happy with the A5 that, that I got. So when I was asked to review this, I said, sure. I, I, I you know, uh, Again, I've had great luck with the JG product, so uh, wanted to get this in. Now, I know that there's been uh, some other reviews on the internet about this particular printer and some issues with the bed. Um, and I'll show it in future build videos, but this has the newer bed where, uh, you know, some folks, you know, contended that the clips would wear on the bottom of the bed. This does have the newer bed where the heating elements pushed back past the clips in here. So pretty confident about that. And as you can see, this one has a little bit more build than the A5 does. So we've got some extrusion here and here that builds the gantry. We've got the different uh, limit switches over here. We've got a single Z-axis. We have the uh, Bowden extruder. It is not a geared extruder. I'd like to see the geared extruder. Uh, we have the hot end assembly here, which looks really nice. And again, a lot of the new, uh, you know, kit builds are coming where it just kind of all plug and play. And that's what it pretty much, outside of the mechanical build, all appears to be plug and play. So you have all the cable assemblies here, and this plugs in. This is a, a 220 by 220 by 250 uh, printer, so it's a good size. It you know allows a two, at least a 200 millimeter print envelope, which is good. It's got the obligatory uh, spool holder over here. It's kind of kind of interesting because it's got this lip on it, so it really you know the smaller filament uh, spools aren't going to fit on here because uh, this is not removable. So that's kind of interesting why they they did that. So it's a little bit of a negative. Uh, it comes with the obligatory all the screws and parts you would want, and the other piece of um, you know the gantry so all the stuff that you would expect and all of it appears to be pretty straightforward again this is just you know an unboxing and a let's take a look at what's in the box video i'm going to do another uh video on the build of this so you can take a look if you want to follow around if you want to get one of these i'll have the link below and uh, I'll help you build it. So, you know, uh, if you have any questions, you can just refer back to the build series on this. Uh, I think this is going to be an interesting printer. Now, I, I want to share a couple more features. Now, one of the things, unlike the A5, this one does not appear to have a bottom. So, uh, when you flip it over, you have the power supply, you have the control board, you have the logic board. All of it is, is pretty simple and straightforward. Looks like it has a standard SD card receiver over here. Um, you know, the back end of this is protected. You know, you'd be hard pressed to get your fingers down into the power, but uh, I sort of have a little bit of mixed feelings with this. I think this is good from an air standpoint. Now, one of the things to notice, there are no fan assemblies down here. There is a fan, obviously, for the power supply but not for the printer itself, so this might be something to add in the future. Uh, also, it's got one uh, power lead coming from the power, the power supply. I mean, this is your atypical switch power supply coming into the board that's obviously going to do the, the uh, uh, hot end as well as the bed. And it is a 24 volt according to this power supply, so uh, I guess we'll give it a try. I like the form factor of this. Um, it has really a sleek form factor. I mean, that's one of the things I think uh, JG Aurora, Aurora is very good at is the form factors of their printer. Sorry for bouncing you guys around a little bit. Um, 
I like this a little bit better too with the rails raised up than the A5. Uh, I thought, you know, because the A5 was a little bit different design where it sat down and was a little bit problematic scraping on the top of the case depending upon, um, you know, how you configured it. This one I definitely won't have that problem. And again, very clean and straightforward. Um, you know, because one of the things I look at is, you know, for educational use, allowing my eight or nine year old grandson to use something, um, you know, I want to have it safe. And again, having the bottom on here would have made me feel better. Only the DC components are exposed. You can see the switch over here, the, uh, 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 power supply here are, you know, covered. And so, uh, anyways... I'm going to get to building this and start the build video. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. If you got one of these, let me know any hints in the comments down below. Uh, modifications you'd make to it. I can already think of a few. Uh, and that's sort of some of the fun with getting these is doing some of the mods on it, right? So, hey, hit that bell button over there. Well, actually go down, hit that bell so you're notified of new content when I put it out. Uh, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you found it interesting or informative. I try to put out new and interesting content on a regular basis. Swag shops up there, putting new stuff out there. And we'll catch you guys in the next video when we build this guy. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.